Hey, what's up everybody? Drew with Canon here. Let's talk about IBIS. No, not that IBIS. I mean in-body image stabilization. Imagine hand-holding an RF 85mm f1.2 lens on a full-frame camera for two whole seconds and getting a tack-sharp image. That's right, hand-holding. I don't mean bracing against the wall or electronic image processing. Now imagine amazingly smooth handheld video without the use of stabilization software and post-processing. Let's take a look at the new in-body image stabilizer in the new EOS R5 and EOS R6, the first cameras from Canon to feature IBIS. The use of image stabilization allows a photographer to safely hand-hold a camera at slower than recommended shutter speeds. Generally, the common rule is to use the lens focal length as the space shutter speed. For example, using a 100mm lens for your safe handheld shutter speed would be roughly 1 100th of a second. Of course, as your lens focal length goes up, so does the need for your shutter speed to increase. Image stabilization allows you to hold your camera in some cases up to five stops slower than that safe handheld speed. Generally, longer focal lengths benefit more via optical lens-based image stabilization, and wider focal lengths benefit more from sensor-based image stabilization. With that in mind, Canon was able to take advantage of the RF mount to coordinate optical in-lens and in-body image stabilization. Now I know IBIS isn't new in the industry, but when Canon decided to put IBIS into the EOS R system, we were able to utilize the large mount diameter to help ensure light reaches all areas of the imaging sensor. And the high-speed 12-pin communication of the RF mount helps the RF lens and camera communicate together for incredible stability at up to eight stops of correction. This is possible because of the combination of the CPU and the lens and the advanced processing power of the new Digic X image processing. A lens with built-in IS, OIS, can only compensate for certain directions of shake. This is where IBIS and 5-axis stabilization steps in to compensate for the other directions and the combination leads to extremely steady handheld camera work. The 5-axis stabilization corrects for pitch, yaw, horizontal and vertical, and roll movement. This is especially impressive when you utilize lenses which do not have image stabilization. With lenses that do not have IS, the IBIS can be disabled or enabled in the camera's menu system. There are no complicated menus for a user to have to access to coordinate lens and IBIS. It's all done internally based on the scene's conditions and the amount of shake correction needed. Even when you're working at wide angles, where it's generally easier to hand hold longer shutter speeds, sensor shift may not be enough on its own. So coordinated control with optical image stabilizer enhances stability, hand holding in low light events or when you're filming your vlog one handed. When adapting EF or EFS lenses to the R5 and R6, IBIS and lens space stabilization is not coordinated together, but you still do get the advantage of the built in IS in the lens, plus the in body image stabilizer to help complement corrections not possible by the optical stabilizer, such as horizontal, vertical and roll movement. When it comes to video capture, the new coordinated control by in-body image stabilizer plus optical image stabilizer is very effective. And if you want to get more stability, there's Movie Digital IS available that works together with OIS and in-body image stabilization. Enabling Movie Digital IS on or enhanced can help stabilize your video footage so that minimal post-processing stabilization may be needed. You do get a slight crop when using Movie Electronic IS, so do be aware of that. So how slow can you go? With the creative possibilities for handheld shooting for both stills and video provided by the EOS R5 and R6, that's all up to you.